Okay guys, so here's what we got going today. We're going to put this quarter reel up here to where I can reel it in right here rather than having to deal with a loose cord all over this basement. So what I'm going to do, I know where I want my first one. I think I'm going to go a little further over like that and then this will give me room here I think the first one I'm going to put in pretty far over here so what I'm going to use is uh, this DAP sealant because what it does is when you bond it to to granite that granite won't move. So I'm assuming bonding it to this will be the same. And then I'll screw it in. And it will, should not move. Okay, now I'm going to get a level and make sure I'm squared up. We have a carpenter square. Pretty well square there. Not a perfect uh, piece of wood by any means. That's good. Squish that in. Got my screws. My screws are not three times as thick, so I shouldn't go through both walls. Yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> Always got to look. <laughs> I'll probably put six in each one. I know I want them 15 inches apart. Because that'll settle these in somewhere in the middle. Perfect. I'm trying to do is tidy things up. This is just too much of a mess for me. So and then this will hang somewhere in here, maybe even higher, and I'll roll it up in. Now I gotta go find the screws that are used to hang it. Boy, I don't know if these four little screws they give you a hold this up here for all the jarring and heavy weight that this thing's gonna carry. But we'll give it a try, and if it doesn't, we'll put new, new ones on it. They bite good. Okay. Boy, 
that should make a big difference. Wow guys, pretty impressed. Well, that takes an awful lot of clutter out of the bottom of this cabinet. I still got to rework this cabinet, but I'm very happy with that, guys. Very happy. I think 94 bucks on Amazon. And I'll get to the rest of this later. I just want to get that installed. God, that's nice. That's really nice, guys. Now maybe I can get a plug. Plug it in here. Just to fake hold it up. You know, pull it out. Drag it out. I don't know. I'm pretty happy. As long as it doesn't come unrolled. More Rider Easy Rail Spooler. Alright, guys. I think that's all I got for this one. I hope you saw it all. If not, I'll uh, show it when I get, see how messy all this is. There's a lot of crap to clean out, isn't it? Look in there. I don't mind that being there, but that stuff needs to come down here. These tools need to be fixed and put away in a much better position. I got those screwdriver, the little case broke open, and now they're kind of a mess, so I want to change that out too. Uh, anyway, yeah. Not real fun. That's why I like this because it gets it nice. This is my water bay, kind of where I keep my uh, battery water and my hoses and stuff like that. So I don't mind that so much as much as I mind like all of that. Little degreaser. The other side I have put it down here. It doesn't show up as good on this color as it does this nice black. So I took it off the other side, put one on this side, and I have one on the other side as well, but I moved it from down here to up here. I left two little scars where I dental flossed it off that I got to touch up with paint, but I like that a lot better. On this side. And this one's on this side. And you see where I gotta touch that up. But I like it better and it's on straight now. Alright guys, that's uh two projects down out of my bunches. I don't know how many, but bunches. And uh I've been watching someone's video about checking Dicor. I check mine quite often, but I'm going to check it again just because I, I saw that video. That looked horrible. Oh, it was uh, RV Geek's video. A friend of theirs, they're looking at buying one, and man, oh, I sure don't want that problem. Anyway, 
just continue watching our RV renovation besides RV projects. We got a bunch of stuff going on. But I thought I'd share that little bit with you right there because I think, gotta show your colors, man. Gotta show your colors. And, uh, and those are my colors. Don't hold it against me, guys. I'm just a Buckeye. I'm also an Oregon State fan. A little bit of a Ducks fan. More Oregon State, though. Uh, more Big Ten, though. I like the SEC, too. I I'm all over the place. I like college. What can I say? I like college ball. Not a pro person, so. Uh, Golden State beating Portland Trailblazers. I don't care. All right, guys. Uh, that's it for this project. Anyway, two down, bunches more to go. All right, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. And remember to full-time, part-time, anytime is a great time to RV. And be safe in everything that you do. All right. Bye, guys. To like, share, and subscribe, click the logo to the left.